Hi, this is Eddie with the Dent Doubles Paintless Dent Repair and Minor Collision. I'm going to show you a couple of mobile repairs that some guys did where we ended up replacing bumpers when they came into the shop. First, we'll look at this. I'm not sure if it's a Lexus or whatnot, but anyway, if you look really close, you can see some stress cracks. When we pull the bumper off, we can see that someone had repaired something on here with fiberglass. Fiberglass should never be used on bumpers. That's more of a get it out the door repair. I'm mean, going to take it that there's fiberglass resin in here too, and they probably skim coated it with fiberglass resin outside too because of the deep cracks. Now, this one is one that we saved the quarter panel on, and we also replaced the front bumper. When you first look at this, you can see the Bondo filler that they skim coated everywhere. And Bondo filler is a sponge, it absorbs moisture, and so the paint eventually is going to peel and it's going to have no durability. That's where they're getting all these rock chips. When we pulled the bumper, really surprised to see this. They had taken probably roofing staples or some kind of staples, tried to put the two pieces back together and they shove Bondo filler and they're just oozing through. It looks like a little face right there when you look at it. Hmm. That would have been good for Halloween. Then we move over to this Honda Civic Grill. They had taken kitty hair to bond back on these broken clips. Again, not a proper repair, especially in a Civic where you can get really cheap, cheap aftermarket parts. That would have been far better, even if they didn't fit. Now we move over to the front bumper of this Civic. When you first look at it, again, you really don't see a whole lot on it, other than this telltale sign of sheetrock mesh coming through. When you flip it over, you can see where they took some kind of epoxy and smeared it on the back. And then they used Bondo fillers to fill up some of the irregularities on the front side. They even did it on the lower part as well. Sheetrock mesh and then some more of the epoxy. They took a little piece of metal and riveted in. Then over in here, I'm going to take it, there was another big tear rip. They used the mesh and the epoxy. Then it looks like a hurricane strap or something, or a piece of another door, or who knows what, and riveted it. On the other side, they finished it off with Bondo filler. This is kind of a get it out the door and get the money and run repair, because it will not last. But anyway, I just figured I would show you a few improper repairs that we see all the time. If you want something done right, give us a call. If you have any questions, give us a call. Swing by the shop. We're more than happy to talk to you and discuss different repair methods. The only time that I could see repairing a bumper cover that's torn in half is maybe on a Saturn Sky or a Saab where you just can't get the parts anymore. But on something like the Civic, you can, if nothing else, go with just aftermarket parts on there. Just scuff them, sand them, and paint them. But anyway, if there is anything I can do, just give us a call. Check us out on the web at thedentdoubles.com or typing by in our phone number www. 619-726-6767.com or you can check us out on Facebook. Both websites link over and you can see a lot of our repairs and different repair methods. Okay, thanks and have a great day.